In May last year, I read about Tory MP Nadine Dorries' attack on sex education via a private member's bill. She was proposing that girls be given information and advice on the benefits of abstinence from sexual activity as part of their sex education. So let's quick, quickly outline the glaring problems with this proposal. Making abstinence education just for girls positions women as the gatekeepers of sex. It positions men as having no responsibility for decision making about sex or for understanding consent. It also supports an idea of women having no desire and men's desire being uncontrollable. Existing sex and relationships education in the UK is unfortunately not statutory. That means that some schools, in particular academies, free schools and religious schools, are highly likely to not teach comprehensive sex and relationships education because they disagree with the apparently unsavoury content. Therefore, if this bill passes, these schools couldn't end up only teaching abstinence and the biology of reproduction in science classes, i.e. not the useful bits of sex and relationships education. Now, abstinence education on its own doesn't work. It's been proven not to, to reduce STIs or unplanned pregnancy. In a review of American sex abstinence programmes involving over 15,000 people by Oxford University, it was found that they don't stop risky sexual behaviour or help in the prevention of unplanned preg pregnancy. The bill is also heteronormative, assuming that the only sex likely to happen is between a male and a female. Comprehensive sex and relationships education already advises on the option of abstaining from sexual activity anyway. Moreover, Dory's view that teenagers should be taught to just say no to a partner who insists on sexual relations blames victims for sexual violence, suggesting that young people do not say no currently. In fact, we know from research not only that young people do refuse sex, but more significantly that their partners often choose not to hear this. Instead, we should be teaching teenagers the need to ensure active consent. So this is why we're opposing the bill and why we support statutory comprehensive sex education for all young people.